Hey, what's up guys? It's Franchise923, and in the next couple of videos, I want to talk about how we can use um, Leaflet inside a React project. So I've made a few videos in the past about how we can use um, Leaflet to display points on a map like this. Um, but this time I want to actually include that in a React project, because that's sort of how uh, more modern websites um, tend to work. They use, um, you know, frameworks like React or Vue, stuff like that not just vanilla uh, HTML and JavaScript. Um, so this is how it's been a bit of a learning experience for me as well. I don't really code with React on a daily basis, but uh, I was able to get this up and running. So I just wanted to show you how we could get it working. Um, and ultimately I'd like to um, include, basically use the Strava API inside a React project. That's, that's where I'm headed with all this, but I figured I'd make a video first, how we could just get data uh, on the map using points uh, like this. Um, and before we get started, I just want to um, thank this guy for making this video. Um, this has helped me a lot figure out how we can do this. Um, so I just wanted to shout him out um, before I got started. Um, but yeah, enough talking. Let's just jump right in. So this is what we're working towards right now. Um, so the first thing we need to do is actually just make a React project. So I'm just going to make a new folder somewhere on my computer and call it leaflet project and I actually have git bash installed so you're gonna to have to have um, node installed so if you don't have node you can just google node and download this and then you should be able to uh, open up a command prompt and type node like that and actually it's, uh, we actually need to use npm which is a package manager but anyway, install node, and then you should be able to open up a command prompt and type NPM. So once you're able to do that and you actually get data back and it doesn't just say error, then you should be good to go. Um, so let's just Google how to start, how to make a React project. So uh, um, React create. So create a new React app. So the recommended way to do this is this NPX create react app. So this basically is a tool that comes with node that will set up a react app for you. Um, so NPM is the node package manager. NPX is slightly different. It, it basically runs applications or scripts. So when you're, when we're saying NPX create react app, it's just going to basically download a default, like create, uh, a default React site for us. Um, but actually, I want to include TypeScript in this project, uh, which is basically a, a different version of JavaScript, more strict, basically. Uh, and that's what a lot of projects are using these days. So let's just say um, create React app with TypeScript. And you see there should be some documentation. So it's pretty much the same, but we're just saying dash dash template TypeScript. So anyway, just copy this. This is the first command we're gonna use here. And so I'm inside my new folder here and we're just gonna paste that in and let that run. So this is just gonna make a boilerplate um, application called my app and it's gonna be using TypeScript. So just run that, it takes a few seconds all right, so it finished like 30 seconds later and it's saying, we suggest you begin by typing this. So we're gonna go CD my, my dash app. So that's just basically changed us into this directory. And now it's saying, try running NPM start. So NPM start, this is basically how you start these projects. Um, so give it a second and it's actually Oh, something's running on port 3000. So that's because I'm running this project on port 3000. So let me kill that project and we can try this again. So I should be able to refresh this in a few seconds. I actually opened a new tab, but there we go. There's our new blank, blank website. So that's what we're working with now. Now we have to figure out how to get that leaflet map on there. So let's go back to here and I'm actually going to kill this because we don't need it yet. And I'm going to 
I don't need this terminal anymore. I'm going to open VS Code in this directory here. So now in VS Code, I'm looking at all this stuff. So I'm going to open this up and close this. And let's just take a look. And I'm going to open my terminal here. So my terminal is now hooked up here. And I should be able to say npm start. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to clean up some of these files because this is what happens when you run a, a React project. You get all this crap. And like, this is one of my gripes with React projects. There's just so much junk that gets installed. But anyway, let's just clean this up. So this this is where most of our this is where all the functionality happens. Um, so if I just cleared out everything in here, and let's just make an H1 and let's just say simple project um, and I'm going to get rid of this logo because we don't need that and we let's go into the app CSS so this is the styling that goes on this page I don't want any styling right now let's just make it empty um, delete that delete this logo we don't need. All right, let's try this now. So it should just say um, simple test or simple project. So there we go. So we, we saw a change get reflected. And just to make another change, let's just say simple project to start. And since we have it, the server actually running, it should make that change already. So cool. All right, so that's good. Now we are ready to install Leaflet. So to install Leaflet, let's go over to, sorry, let me close some of this crap. Let's go over to their website here and go to the get started and installation. So these are the things we're gonna have to install. So the uh, this, this, and then this. So just copy these three things. All right, the first one finished. Let's get the second one. And these you can ignore. They just say they're optional. So they, they look like errors, but they're fine to just ignore. So we're gonna install a React Leaflet. Actually, what we did here was redundant because we, we already have React and we have React DOM. So we could have just said NPM install Leaflet. All right, so let me clear this. So we installed that, this. This is an import statement we're gonna put on our page, um, but let's also do this one more npm install here. And this is specifically for TypeScript. All right, cool. So now let's go back to this page and it's saying you need to import these necessary components so I'm going to copy these and this actually has to go into our app so this goes in our app.tsx and this is tsx because it's, it's TypeScript here so just print this and now we have access to all these special leaflet specific uh, methods and functions so we're going to start off using something called the map container so Let's go back to their example and go to the setup. So they're saying follow all the steps from the installation page. So let's just take another look. So we did all this. And let's go back here and let's just copy this map container and try putting it in our return here. So instead of having this, this div that says H that has this H1 in it, let's just print this and I'm gonna format this document a little bit and let's just see what happens. So I already know there's gonna be a problem. See how it's all messed up like this? This is because we don't have the styling, we don't have the CSS applied yet. So these instructions are a little bit 
unclear because they don't really the react leaflet doesn't really tell you to include the css anywhere um it just it's a little i don't think it's the best right here so we need to look at actual leaflets documentation so not the react implementation of leaflet but just the leaflet um documentation and if we go to their tutorials we need to include this css file so if you copy this this needs to go in our our main index.html. So just paste that in there. And with any luck now, um, is it still running? I think with any luck, it should be working. Let me just restart this. getting anything here what could be missing oh you know this is another thing that wasn't mentioned on these this information um, the documentation here so we need to give the leaflet container some styling and I actually got this from that video I uh, recommended in the beginning so in our app.css here, we need to make, um, we need to do this. So container, we just need to give it some properties. So the width, this needs to be 100 VW, which means viewport width. And this is the height. And this is 100 viewport height. And this is sort of just a new way of um, setting the display. So now if we go back, we have a map. So you notice now we have a map, but we can't scroll. Um, we have this pop-up that we can click on, but we can't scroll. So let's figure out why we can't scroll. And if you look at what we actually put here, you'll see this scroll wheel zoom is false. So let's make that true. and give it a second to refresh might have to manually refresh it now we can scroll cool so now we have a really simple react app using leaflet um, that's all i wanted to do in vi this video in the next video i'm going to show you how we can use how we can display more pa uh, points on the on the map using some like a json data for example um, but yes it's looking pretty good and it wasn't too painful to get working in React. It's just some of those steps aren't really documented very well on this website. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.